I invite the member staff and guests to stand and be led in prayer by Dr. Rex Horn, house chaplain and retired pastor of Emanuel Baptist Church in Little Rock, and to remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance to be led by Representative Gary Deffenbaugh. Let's pray, please. Father, we come to you today thanking you for this day of life. We thank you for the blessings that we enjoy and so often uh, take for granted. I thank you, Lord, for the women and men who are standing before me, more than that, before you in this house, in the chamber today. I pray especially as they come together for a more specific purpose that you would bless them, that you would be with them, that you would guide them. I thank you, Lord, that you have given us opportunities to serve and that these have been elected to to serve and to represent people in their areas, but also to represent the people of our wonderful state. I pray that you will always help uh, our house to be people who are principled, who are people of conviction, but also, Father, that always keep in mind the greater good, to be able to talk, to find common ground, to have respect and civility and kindness toward one another and toward those that believe as they do or or don't happen to follow the same path. So we pray guidance. Bless our speaker and bless all who serve and have a part in these days. At the end of the time, help them to sense an accomplishment, a measure of satisfaction. Lord, thank you that we have opportunities to impact people. So often, what we do may seem to be somewhat common or mundane, but there are other times when it really does impact lives and health of people of our state, our neighbors, our friends, our families. Bless them, each one, in Jesus' name, amen. Members, please indicate your presence by pushing your yellow present button. Prepare the machine, Madam Clerk. Cast up the ballot, Madam Clerk. With 87 members present, the chair sees a quorum. Are there any requests for leave? Representative McElroy, for what purpose? Leave for Representative McGee. Is leave granted for Representative McGee? So noted. Representative Deffenball, for what purpose? Leave for Lane Jean. Is leave granted for Representative Jean? So noted. Representative Hollowell, for what purpose? Uh, leave for Representative Lynch. Leave granted for Representative Lynch. So noted. Representative Hollowell, you're recognized. Rep- uh, leave for Representative Coleman. Is leave granted for Representative Coleman? So noted. Representative Gonzalez, for what purpose? Leave. You're recognized. Leave for Representative Gray. Is leave granted for Representative Gray? So noted. Representative Ladyman, for what purpose? Leave. You're recognized. Leave for Representative Lundstrom. Is leave granted for Representative Lundstrom? Leave. So noted. Representative Smith, for what purpose? Leave. You're recognized. Leave for Representative uh, Richard McGrew. Leave granted for Representative McGrew. So noted. Representative Mayberry, for what purpose? Leave for Representative Gazaway. Is leave granted for Representative Gazaway? So noted. Representative Watson, for what purpose? Leave. You're recognized. Leave for Representative Charlene Fight. Is leave granted for Representative Fight? So noted. 
Representative Warren, for what purpose? Leave. Recognized. Leave for Representative Carol Dalby. Is leave grant, granted for Representative Dalby? Leave. So noted. Representative Vaught, for what purpose? Leave. You're recognized. Leave for Representative Boyd. Is leave granted for Representative Boyd? Leave. So noted. Representative Vaught, you're recognized. Leave for Representative Eaves. For Representative Eaves. Representative Evans, for what purpose? Leave for Representative Meeks. Is leave granted for Representative Meeks? Leave. So noted. Madam Clerk, please read the proclamation from the Governor. State of Arkansas Executive Department Proclamation. To, whom, to all to whom these presents shall come, greetings. Whereas an extraordinary occasion has arisen, making it necessary to convene the 93rd General Assembly in extraordinary session, and whereas the Delta variant of COVID-19 has infected thousands of Arkansans in recent months, this variant has infected a higher rate of school-aged children, and it is more contagious than previous variants of the virus, and whereas a COVID-19 vaccine is not yet available for children under the age of 12 years old, and whereas the Arkansas Public Schools will begin in-person instruction in August and the safety of children attending school is critical, and whereas all efforts should be made to preserve the safety of these children while maintaining the ability for them to attend in-person instruction, and whereas school boards need the flexibility to require masks and congregate settings to protect the safety of children, and whereas Act 1002 of 2021 prohibits public school boards from utilizing masks to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. Therefore, there is an urgent need to enact exceptions to Act 1002 of 2021 so that public school boards have the flexibility necessary to utilize masks to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 in, in schools. And whereas a full economic recovery from the impact of COVID-19 requires a robust workforce, and whereas as a result of extraordinary federal unemployment benefit programs and relief programs, Arkansas employers are unable to fill thousands of job vacancies in the state, and whereas the unemployment rate in Arkansas is currently below the national unemployment rate and consistent with the historical unemployment level preceding the onset of COVID-19 pandemic. Therefore, there is no longer a need within the state of Arkansas for extraordinary federal unemployment benefit programs provided under Title IX, Subtitle A, Part I of the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. Now, therefore, I, Asa Hutchinson, Governor of the state of Arkansas, by virtue of the power and authority vested in me by Article VI, Section 19 of the Arkansas Constitution, do hereby call an extraordinary session of the General Assembly to convene in Little Rock on August 4th, 2021 at 10 a.m. And I do hereby specify that the General Assembly is convened in such session to consider and is so advised and act laws for the following purposes. One, to allow public school boards and open enrollment charter schools to implement masking protocols to protect children under the age of 12 in a school building, school bus, or other congregate educational setting during times dedicated for academic pur purposes. Two, to affirm the decision of the Director of Workforce Services to terminate the State of Arkansas's participation in extraordinary federal unemployment benefit programs related to COVID-19. Three, to affirm the reduction and prevention of unemployment in Arkansas takes precedence over the receipt of any federal programs related to unemployment and the Director of Workforce Services may exercise discretion in the decision to participate or cease participation in any voluntary optional special or emergency program benefits offered by the federal government to address exceptional unemployment conditions. Four, to confirm gubernatorial appointees as required by Arkansas Code Annotated 10-2-113, and five, to provide the payment of expenses and per diem of the House of Representatives and the Senate for the extraordinary session. In testimony whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the great seal of state of Arkansas to be affixed the second day of August in the year of the Lord 2021, Asa Hutchinson, Governor. In accordance with the provisions of Article 6, Section 19 of the Arkansas Constitution, no business other than that which is germane to the items in the call of the governor will be considered until all items in the call have been disposed of. Representative Slate, for what purpose? Motion. Let's hear your motion. 
Mr. Speaker, I move we spend for the duration of this special session House Rule 38P through T, setting minimum lengths of time for circulation of physical impact statements related to specific types of legislation. That's a proper motion. It's not debatable. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? The ayes have it. Representative Slate, for what purpose? Motion. Let's hear your motion. Mr. Speaker, I move that we suspend for the dur duration of this special session House Rule 41A, requiring bills to be on the desk for at least 24 hours before final passage, and 41B, prohibiting bills from being placed on committee agendas no sooner than the second calendar day following its filing. That's a proper motion. It's not debatable. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? The ayes have it. Representative Slate, for what purpose? Motion. Let's hear your motion. Mr. Speaker, I move we spend for the duration of this special session, House Rule 60A, setting minimum lengths of time for notice of committee meetings. It's a proper motion. It's not debatable. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? The motion's adopted. Madam Clerk, notify the Senate that the House is in session and ready for business. Madam Clerk, notify Governor Hutchinson that the House is in session and ready for business. Members, we do have one guest with us in the gallery today. In the North Gallery, we have Dr. Glenn Finter, Superintendent of the Marion School District, a guest of Representative Deborah Ferguson. Read the bills, Madam Clerk. House Bill 1001. Without objection, read the bill a second time. House Bill 1001. Public Health. Read the bill, Madam Clerk. House Bill 1002. Without objection, read the bill a second time. House Bill 1002. Public Health. Representative Evans, for what purpose? Motion. Let's hear your motion. Mr. Speaker, after the announcements, reading of the bills, transferring of the bills, placing the calendars on the desk, amending members their own bills with their own amendments, members withdrawing their own bills, finalizing resolutions, reading communications, and any remaining committee reports, I move we adjourn until 10 a.m. tomorrow.
That's a proper motion. It's not, not debatable. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? The ayes have it. Members, uh, a few items by way of announcement. Uh, we just suspended several rules, which is the common practice for a special session to allow us to meet in a more efficient uh, manner. There will be a public health meeting at 1 o'clock this afternoon in Big Mac A. Uh, but additionally, we've read two bills across the desk, which both of which were assigned to public health. But as if other bills are filed, those can also be assigned immediately to committee as we're leaving the desk open. So you need to pay attention to the schedule, uh, the committee agendas, uh, because if other things are filed, then those will be assigned to committee as soon as possible. Now, obviously, with regard to other committee me meetings, uh, that likely couldn't happen until after we meet in the morning. That likely, that's likely correct, but just monitor your email and communications from and the House website. Obviously, if, there, if you have a committee meeting, we're going to get notice out to you. Representative Wing, for what purpose? Um, point of personal privilege upon gaveling out, please. Come back to that. Representative Ladyman. I've already covered it, but do you have anything to add to the announcement? announcement? You're recognized. Public health will meet him and Mac A. Any other announcements? The desk will remain open, and upon completion of the items named in the adjourned resolution, the House will be adjourned until 10 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs>